Hello world folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. Following their latest media exploits, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's standing with the British public has once again plummeted. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's popularity continue to decline. According to the latest poll conducted by Redfield and Wilton in Britain on March 1st, the survey shows that Harry's net approval rating has plummeted 37 points since November, leaving him with a net approval of negative 22, while Meghan has dropped 31 points, leaving her with a net approval of negative 33. The news comes as a blow to the Sussexes brand, as they've recently seen their popularity drop among Americans as well. Since last December, Harry has sunk 48 points. Well, Megan has dropped 40 points, leaving them with a net approval rating of negative 42 and negative 17, respectively. But the Sussexes are not alone in their drop in popularity. Research conducted by Redfield and Milton shows that other worlds have seen their net approval ratings decrease. Prince Andrew's net approval rating now sits at negative 53, a 22-point drop since November. Queen Camilla received an approval rating of 1+, plus, a 24-point drop since before Harry's memoir and docu-series were released. Harry's tell a memoir spare and the interviews he gave to promote it ahead of its release on January 10th portrayed Camilla and Prince William in a negative light. In the book, Harry accuses stepmother of leaking stories to the media about him to sacrifice him on her PR altar in pursuit of earning public favor. He also made swipes against his brother in the book, recounting a physical attack at Kensington Palace in 2019. Even the most popular royal, Princess Kate, has seen a drop in her net approval rating. She has seen an 11-point drop with a 52-point-plus rating, followed by Prince William with a 12-point drop, leaving him at 49. King Charles received a boost in polls following his ascension to the throne after the death of Queen Elizabeth in 2022. Currently has a 27 net approval rating, a drop of 19 points since November. As questions swirl around the King's coronation on May 6th, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have not yet revealed whether they will attend the event. The optics of the event will optimally shave the public's perception of the royals, according to PR celebrity guru Carla Spite. With regards to the coronation, I think it's King Charles, Prince William, Prince Catherine, and the Queen Consort that need to think about keeping up appearances, said Spite. They need to show up as the happy family, which means they'll have to work out the damning things that Harry's said. As with the family drama that plays out in the public domain, the current feud needs to be handled tactfully by all sides, Ms. Spite suggested. The latest poll serves as a reminder that the monarchy remains under scrutiny from the public and that the Sussexes' popularity has taken a hit in recent months. Only time will tell if they can regain the trust and admiration of the British public and the world. So what do you guys think about this news? Will Prince Harry and Meghan Markle attend King Charles' coronation? And will their absence affect public perception of the royal family? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.